Okay, so we've explored the different parts of this program, and now I'm going to show you how to make a few changes. Um, the first change we're going to make is actually not to the sprite, but to the stage. And if you'll notice here, it's important to pay attention to where you are. It says sprite, stage. Now you'll notice this says sprite 2, and that's because, remember, I duplicated it and I cut one, so all I have left now is sprite 2. But here's my stage, and I'm going to change it. Right now it's just white. It's not particularly useful for learning as a white background. We're going to click on background, and I'm going to um, import a new background. And there's all sorts of these. You will explore them later. For right now, we are choosing the XY grid. And if you think back on our dino game, it'll make a little more sense. And I'll click OK. And you'll notice that I've got, I'm going to actually cut the cat here so that you uh, can see what's going on. Uh, I've got my X axis here and my Y axis here. And it looks something like the dino grid game. I've got this game. And if you look here, my mouse will move according to certain numbers. So that's the background that I want you to use. Now the other thing that I've done here is now I don't have a sprite. So it's going to be kind of hard to program without a sprite. And you'll notice it says new sprite. I can create one, which you'll get to do later. I can get one from the file. If I pick animals, and I say OK, and I scroll down just a tiny bit. Oh, there's my cat. And I've got him. So um, you're going to get to do this in a minute. I want you to import this stage. I want you to cut your cat so that you can see what it looks like and get your cat back. And if you'll notice, I now have Sprite 1. So I'd like you to go ahead and try that.